I would pay for a file like this. I hope this loads. Here we go. The instruments of the orchestra. She has done so much research. You don't have to go through and use all these slides. You could use just whatever you're talking about. She has amazing pictures, but the best of all is she has amazing sound samples. I'm going to click on the bass clarinet. She has linked a sound file to the bass clarinet picture, and this is great. This is what you get. I hope you could hear that. I mean, that's like, that's actually a live bass clarinetist. I don't know who that is. That's a very good, I'm a clarinetist, and like, that's a really nice sound sample. All of the pages, when she's talking about instruments, have sound samples. So if you click on them, they play. They're amazing. She did some wonderful research on this. And then she ends with these great sound examples of ensembles. And, of course, like, if you click on that, she linked it right to this movie of the Flight of the Bumblebee by the Canadian Brass. And it's a really funny movie. If you've never seen this, I highly recommend you go downloading this and, and seeing this because eventually the trumpet player goes and plays the tuba. It's very, very good. <laughs> this I will show you the link to where this came from. This is amazing. And uh, I credit Allison greatly for how wonderful that is. You saw me do the balloon page. This is actually the Koosh Rhythm page. I love this one, too. And if you go up to full screen, so I can show you this on full screen. It looks even better. Throw a Koosh at it, and it links to another page, and you clap this rhythm. And then you hit the little circle and it goes back to the Koosh. And then you just, <laughs> that's a great rhythm to clap. And then you come right on back. Great, great exercise. I just, I'm I, I just love finding these these gems. As we're coming almost to the ending, I'm going to just show you just a few more things. A Race to See the Answer. This is The 100th Day of School by Teresa Jennings from Music K-8. This plays the actual file because you can link any file, um, you know, music files right into your, your presentation. But what I love about this one is that you can go in, take the eraser, and erase the answer. And how do you do that? It's very simple. All you have to do is you take a pen and you make it white. Let's make it a big pen. And then you just block the answer and then you have to erase to reveal the answer. I love erasing to the, reveal the answer. There's animations now um, in Notebook 10. And you can find them around here, not only in the page recording, but this shows up other things, too. Animations just like you would find in PowerPoint. So, for example, you want to, they can use the pen to try and put in the rhythm. Oh, I'm still in white. Hold on. <laughs> that will not help. <laughs> you can use the pen to write the rhythms. And then, boy, that's a really big pen, but that's all right. Then... What I've done is animated this so when it gets clicked on, there we go, it should, I'm trying to find the one, I'm clicking on the wrong one, and then it should reveal it. What that's supposed to do is reveal. I always love that it never works in a presentation. It works in the classroom beautifully. Yes, yeah, so that should reveal when you click on it, um, unless I did something the last time, but it's object animation, and it's supposed to fade in. You can see it say it right there, and what you're supposed to do is when you click on that, it is supposed to fade in, just like it would in a PowerPoint. Not sure why it's not doing it here, but nothing is perfect, as you know, when you work with technology. As you continue, anytime you want to um, put in a, a picture file, easy to do. Just take a picture and stick it in. So that's neat little math games of rhythm. I've even seen my kindergarten teachers make podcasts by using this tool right here, the Smart Recorder. And what they do is when they hit record, they can read this, turn the page, and it will record this as a movie. The only problem is it's a very, 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 very large movie. The file is huge. However, my kindergarten teachers just find that so much easier than other things to use, and they use it that way. And you know what? More power to them. Exporting is great. Those um, lessons you saw the kids writing their um, names, eventually I'm going to export that as a PDF file. I can email that to the parents. What I will do is put it up on the school website. 
they even have assessment systems where they, they give out these clickers, and these are usually called the clicker system. It was called, um, it's called Smart Response. It was called Centeo. And you can actually make um, files using this one here into um, assessments, and it will assess things. You put the class names in, you assign each student a clicker, and it assesses what they're doing. Even here, you have young kids. They even have the response system with just shapes and colors on them. That is um, an extra price. They don't make that a part of the smart board. You have to pay individually. Now, finally, the last thing, I want to show you where I got some of those great lessons. This musetech.pbworks.com, wonderful. This is in the handout. So if you're trying to scramble to write this down, just go to my website and grab the handout. It's there on the last page. The exchange.smarttech.com, musetech has smart board files and it has Promethean. Smarttech.com will only have smart board files. Music Techie, uh, Carol Bruce, this is her page. She has a Promethean board. If you know Carol's name, you know these files are going to be good. Um, Promethean Planet will only have Promethean board. And then I said Allison Friedman, my goodness, so she did that amazing orchestra, orchestra instruments. So she actually has a neat wiki space with a whole bunch of her files on it for smart board. Excellent, excellent files. Wonderful. Those are just five. Google. Just put in Google Music smart board lessons, and you'll find a bunch of links. So don't reinvent the wheel. If you don't have the time to go into all of this stuff that I just showed you, go and look into these links, and you will be amazed what you will find. Um, I have a couple of minutes left, and I'm happy to try and take questions. I see that Jason has raised his hand. I don't know what to do right now, Jason, to answer you, but... Um, don't worry about it, Amy. He's, uh, he's just... Uh... That's automatic for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I have any questions? If you have a question, there's a raise your hand button at the bottom of the participant window. So all you need to do is click on it, and I'll be happy to unmute your phone so that you can ask. Amy, there were a couple of questions uh, during in, in the chat uh, about where they can um, get your information, your slides, uh, all of the materials that you shared. Um, should I go back to desktop to show them? Yeah, that'd be great because I, I think that would be helpful. Definitely. Um, let me grab the desktop here again, and it's right here at amymburns.com. Right on the front page, this is the book that Jason talked about. And right here, Matos Materials. And I also sent the handout to Jim because I didn't know if he was posting these two. So he has the handout and he also has the PDF slides. So this is, I exported my smart board presentation as a PDF so you can see the slides. And here's the handout which just kind of says, what did Amy show us today? And it has, it, I do this for all my teacher workshops because it has those questions that you're going to ask two months from now. And it's it be, hopefully the answer is there for you, and it's helpful for you. I'd also like to say that um, all oh, there is a question. Hold on. Uh, so this is Margaret Crane, and you are now unmuted, Margaret. Hi, I was wondering. Um, I was wondering. So smart board and Promethean exercises will not work with interchangeably. Not that um, I. Not that I'm aware of. I don't have a Promethean board to know. If you're writing the the ones in SmartBoard um, notebook, I, uh, that can work on anything. But I think in order to be interactive on the SmartBoard, that's how they work together. Like I could use the Smart Notebook on a white screen or you know a, a non-interactive whiteboard, but it doesn't mean I can. You know, you can't interact with the board. So I believe that I if I try to use Smart Notebook on Promethean. I'd have an issue, but I'm not sure if someone else has a better answer to that. That's wonderful. I would love to hear that. Um, we have uh, Bill Bauer has a question. Bill? Hi, Amy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, we're actually watching you projected on a smart board, uh, my ah. uh, music technology class here at uh, Case Western Reserve University. Awesome. Uh, question I have. Hi. Uh, everybody say Hi. Hi. <laughs> A, uh, a question I had when I was watching some of the lessons, um, and maybe you can just make a few comments to students about this, is what sort of um, 
the sort of things that we need to think about in terms of copyright when we're using materials found on the Internet and uh, some of those sound samples and, and things like that when we're creating lessons like this? When you're creating lessons, unless you're sharing them out on the Internet, you have to think of it the same way when you're using sound samples in your classroom. If you're using them on the smart board, that's not really an issue. Um, if you're going to some of these lessons where they're, you're taking them and they're free for you to use, you hope that the teachers got the copyright permission. So those links I showed you, if you go there and take a lesson, they're willing to let you just take the lesson. You hope they got the copyright permission. Um, you do not see my Music K-800 Day of School lesson up on my website to take because I don't have Teresa Jennings' permission to, t to take her song and do that. So that's just a lesson I showed you that I use in my classroom. I'm allowed to use her song in my classroom, but I'm not allowed to go put her song on the Internet. Okay, I'm now...